Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is all about resetting your spaces. So I know something that I've seen a lot of people talk about recently, probably as a byproduct of it being January, is resetting spaces. And obviously, you may have experienced this. I have definitely experienced this in the past, but I hear so many people talk about how, you know when you just get this urge to reset a space and you tackle it, and then it doesn't quite go to plan. Everything's pulled out of drawers. You're kind of sitting in a bunch of mess thinking, why did I start this? What am I doing? We've all been there, right? I have definitely been there in the past as well. And I wholeheartedly believe this is due to a lack of planning. As Benjamin Franklin would say, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. And I wholeheartedly believe that, like you are just setting yourself up for failure. You have got this impulse where you know that it needs to be done and you've just attacked it, but you had no plan or vision for what you were trying to achieve. So halfway through, you've got overwhelmed and you just want to abandon the whole task. So I'm going to share with you guys my five steps in how I would plan to reorganize a space to avoid this from happening, to avoid getting overwhelmed, to avoid just wanting to abandon the task in the middle, because um, it can really be simple if you plan correctly. So how do we do this, right? So stage one is categorizing your items. So categorizing your items means everything that you have to store, put into categories. It is literally that simple. So for example, I'm gonna use my bedroom in this example. Um, and you can apply this to any space. Obviously, I'm just trying to pick something that would make sense to you guys so I can give an actual example for each stage. If I was to reorganize this space and categorize it, I would have the following spaces. Clothes, underwear, accessories, perfumes, PJs, hair bits, makeup bits, I also have another section that I would need to add in because at Christmas I got a lot of now um, items from various family members. Then I have shoes and skincare. These are all the categories that I would put my bedroom items into, right? And then for the extra OCD people out there, like how I would do it just that little bit further, which is completely optional, you do not have to do this. I would then break them down into more specific categories. So for myself, I have three different categories for pajamas because I have short sets. So like short sleeves, spaghetti strapped, shorts, like proper, what I would consider summer pajama sets. Then I have sets that are long sleeves and they are long in terms of trousers, they're not shorts, but they're quite thin they're not thick pajamas at all. I would consider them as like autumn kind of pajamas, but then I also have thick, fluffy pajamas and I would consider them winter pajamas. Just because that's how I like to see my categories. Um, if I'm grabbing PJs, I want PJs that are gonna match that time of the year. It just is what makes my life a bit more efficient. But like I say, you don't have to do this step at all. Then we have stage two. So this would be think about the space that you have. That means what space to contain these items or to store these items in do you have in that space? So for my bedroom, using this example again, I would have my wardrobe, my chest of drawers, I have some additional chest of drawers, my makeup vanity, and I have some cubby holes. So these are all the different places I have that I can store these items. So that's stage two. Then after you've narrowed down what spaces you have, you can go into stage three, which is think about your everyday life. So what this means is you need to kind of envision yourself in a day-to-day -day process. What things do you use constantly? Ask yourself that question and write it down. What things do you need to reach out easily? Like, what do you use frequently? Because these things need to be stored differently, right? So for me, an example for this would be my makeup. I have everyday makeup and then I have going out makeup, right? So my eye palettes, things like that, I'm never gonna use in a day-to-day -day basis. Even certain foundations, I wouldn't use that on a day-to-day -day basis. There's so much that I can store in what I would call my additional chest of drawers, which is tucked away. But then I have makeup that would have to go in my vanity because I'm using that every day. Because if you don't consider this or add in this point, 
you'll put things in places that make no sense and then you'll just frustrate yourself on a day-to-day -day basis because your environment isn't efficient so this is something that you really really need to just take a little bit of time to think about um then you have stage four which would be assign spaces to your items so what this means is you now have a list of the things that you need to store you've considered the things that you need to access quickly and then you now have a list of all the places that you can store these things right you now need to just marry these up together so for example my list of things that i have to store things in i have my vanity well my everyday makeup is going to go in my vanity that's marrying that up my backup makeup will go in my additional drawers because i don't need to access that frequently and then you have stage five which is action so now you have a clear list of what is going in which space and you can literally just go into your room and action it and it will feel so much more simple because you have these steps to follow of course there is a chance that you will assign an item to a space where they don't fit um and of course you should be mindful of this during the planning process right like you know how big that space is you should kind of have an idea of what can fit but there is a high possibility that there might be at least one thing that you've assigned that doesn't fit and of course you can just adjust as you're doing this right but i just find that if you have the plan it's a bit easier when you're in that scenario whereas when you don't have the plan you just you just get frustrated so quickly and the frustration can feel more overwhelming and you can just more likely want to abandon the task whereas if you have that plan you kind of remember what you're trying to achieve and it just seems a little bit easier to tackle that problem when it comes so yeah there are my five steps in how i would plan to reorganize a space um there obviously is an additional step which could be to clear out like this is just reorganizing but if you wanted to clear out as well i would just add a step in between one and two so i would add an additional step let's call this 1.5 and this would be where you would decide what you're going to cut out um my rule generally is if i haven't used it in a year then i'll clear it out don't get me wrong there is exceptions to this rule an exception for me would be clothes because one things come in and out of style so i think that it makes sense to keep certain items and for me as well clothes is something that i have to be mindful of because i'm someone that heavily fluctuates on my weight like i can literally change week to week so it makes no sense for me to clear this out i do tend to keep more clothing because of this um but of course you can adjust this for what is right for you you can create your own rule you might want to clear out if you've not used it in six months or two years i would just create a rule that works for you and the exceptions to that rule that works for you and then just follow that for every item because if you don't have a rule you don't know how to judge whether to keep the item or not and it can get a little bit difficult and again overwhelming so just create a base rule what your exceptions are and you just follow that for every item in each category that you have so that is the additional step if you wanted to also add in a clear out but that is the overview of how i would sit down and organize this before actually attacking any spaces i really hope that this is helpful um it's something that has really transformed my life and i can just clear out spaces so much faster i feel like this used to take me a whole day and then it'd be a whole headache and a whole bunch of emotions because i'm overwhelmed and stressed and it just felt so difficult um, whereas now it's something that is just so simple in my life to do because of these five steps so i hope that you can implement these into your life and i hope that you find benefit from these as well comment down below if you've tried them if you've got any tips or tricks for the community please comment them down below as well um but yeah, I really hope that you find value in this video and I will see you guys in the next one.